So uh, last time you was able to uh, um, navigate from uh, add pages for loading, okay? And uh, be able to navigate from uh, the add page to the uh, load page. And this time uh, we are going to uh, learn about uh, JList view in detail. So again, we still have a look at the reference, uh, our reference here, which is the list view. Uh, list view, yeah, list view, and we would like to use this list view to display the uh, data that we could load from uh, from the uh, data table that we uh, have done with some JavaScript over here. Let's say you could load the data now, but then before talking about this, we just purely focus on uh, what the list view is first. So. Let's, let's just look at this one and in the load page right now I would like to put uh, another list okay and this one data raw data raw is going to be a list view okay uh, we may or may not put the data inside uh, equal to true just, just will not put it the list item we will test this one we'll test this one so we're gonna put the list item is a uh, references to nothing a, then uh, we will not put it let's, let's just try to display our product the like like, like the following so h3 uh, we're going to say product name then we put uh, the product name there, product one. This one is sample data for us to um, sample data for us to uh, see how we would like our data to be uh, displayed. Then the product name is important. Then we're gonna go to let's say H four for the quantity. Okay, let's say um, one. Then we may go for uh, let's say normal text. Uh, P let's say and this one is um, what is it now let's, let's just see what is this now uh, the ID the pro ID and they want to put let's say pro number one similarly let me just try to test and put um, one more product let's say product two um, um, quantity is two and ID is two okay let's just try to run this one and go to the uh, list view and see how it works okay and later on of course we're going to use JavaScript to inject uh, our data to this list view instead of displaying it this way okay so uncheck uncheck start with Google Chrome okay. so click on the panel loads yeah we have our products display over here it look pretty nice and you could change the display as you um, would expect okay you could change the, the display the, uh, as you expect but then I think I'm just gonna keep the display this way now one more thing is which is that uh, we're gonna use a very nice feature from list view which is filterable list view so we're going to do this one form okay so uh, we're going to try to make this list view filterable. So have a, uh, we'll have a look at the uh, JMobile filter items. And if you would like to make the um, list filterable, this one is very good for creating um, uh, search on that list view. So let's say you can create a form class UI equal to filterable, then input ID equal to my filters, data type equal to search, uh, and you see. so you will say so you will have this one the class equal to um, UI filterable UI filterable then you're going to create an input okay and input yep, and input oh sorry uh, what is that oh not that one not that one either this one, this one. This is an input data type. 
Okay, data if equal to search. Okay. And um, ID equal to um, the keyword, let's say. Okay, ID equal to ID equal to txt keyword, txt keyword. Okay. Okay. Then um, let's, let's see data type equal to search. Okay, ID equal to okay. Now in this one we're going to uh, say okay data filter equal to true. Uh, then um, data input equal to the ID of the input field over here, which is txt keyword. So only all of this one we're gonna create a form. That form is filterable then um, uh, the input uh, we're going to create an input type and that input is of data type is search and it has an id is txt keyword then from our list view we say oh this one is data okay data filter equal to true so we're going to use data filter for this list view then data input equal to txt keyword so we'll say that this this form with this input is the input for uh, our uh, uh, data filter filter so let's just restart this one okay so let's just click on this one and go loads and we'll try to do the searching let's say one okay so you only have the product number one filters it's very nice to create this one uh, let's just go quan okay tt you see if you search for quantity okay it's also displays this it displays this as well okay so anyway um, the filterable will search by all the will search by all the uh, text that is is display on the um, items over here so you have product name will be searched as well okay if you type products it will list this it will list this it will list, sorry uh, it will list this it will list this as well so it takes all the text to search, but actually we shouldn't search by products or by name like this, okay, or by name like this, okay. We should search by the product name only, product name only. So uh, uh, jQuery Mobile provides a very interesting um, 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 features from there. You can just have a look at this one. You can specify that the data filter text. Okay, you would like to filter by the text uh, uh, that you stated here only, not the whole text inside here. So for that case, we're going to do something like this. So we're going to say, we're going to say, we're going to say, let's, let's uh, see. We're going to say, okay, for this one, currently you may search by this, or by this, or by this, but right now i'm gonna like to search by this only so you're gonna say filter text equal to product one only okay filter text equal to product one only so if you run this one and you'll say okay if you run this one you'll say okay let's just go to load and if you type name right now okay let's let's see now let's to show it. So let us see. One, one, one. Okay, it's only take for one, so it seems like still taking the whole thing. So here, let me just check. So um, let's us have a look at our code. So let's us see now. Um, filter text. Oh, okay. This one is supposed to be touch friendly, so it's supposed to be uh, data filter text. For this one, is we're gonna take the name to be f data filter text. Then also for the second one, we'll say data filter text. Oops, filter text. Okay, equal to product two, which is the name only of, of the product two only. Let's let's uh, run this one again and see. So click on this one, click on load, and let me just put here uh, one. It's going to bring prop one only. Let me just try to put name. 
no it's, it doesn't have anything names over there like like we did before so we could now only filter by product let's say we'll say product one is going to bring you only product one so it looks fine right now so we we, we may be able to do some let's say css so that you know give alternative style so this one and this one looks different uh background to make nice of it i think i'm just gonna stop there or you're gonna create a rounded set uh just just try to make it whether it's gonna look better or not so let's break this one down and then i'm gonna put here uh data data inside equal to true and see if it looks nicer or not okay okay load our data inside equal to true so it looks a little bit nicer then i mean it's depending on you you prefer to put the data inside or you, you do not prefer to put the data inside it's fine okay another thing is i think uh we would like to uh, make the item looks like a, a link so it's touchable so it's a suggestion for people to and that uh, to, to think that it is touchable item so we're gonna put the anchor over here and then we're gonna place like this so every of the our item should look like this okay so let's just try to run it and you may see Okay, so it's, it's, it has this icon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, this one. So it has this icon and, and some style looks like, you know, touchable. So, I mean, depending on you again, but I feel like if I do this, this looks like touchable and people are going to um, touch on it. So we'll do some touching later on and we'll do some accent about it. Okay. And next time we're going to uh, really load the data and put it here. Okay.